Sevalot's Tebluk morning begins before the sun rises. For five years, the 14th of March has been special for him. On this day in 2014, he, along with other volunteers, arrived at the Novi Patrizzi military base near Kiev to form a battalion. Sevalot went to the front line a few months later. On the 11th of July 2014, we left for liberated Slovyansk. At first it was officially registered that I was there to teach them. Later I requested to send me to the battalion. Thus I became a volunteer twice. His fellow servicemen nicknamed him Dr. Ibolit, a character from children's poems. Just before we left for the city of Popasna to carry out an assault, the deputy battalion commander called us. He forgot my number and said, Hey, Dr. Ibolid, come to the observatory, which is headquarters. There was a situation when I pretended that I was a terrible Dr. Ibolid, interrogating the militants in former. We decided to play, and I said, He doesn't want to provide any information. Ask our Ibolid to come. I put on a work apron, contaminated it with ketchup or tomato paste. I was terrible, wearing a mask and carrying a bowl with tools. And I said, So what? But one of his most memorable stories took place near the town of Ilovaisk in the Donetsk region. All the volunteer battalions of the Interior Ministry were brought here. There were the units of the armed forces there. We entered Ilovaisk on Independence Day, when we already knew that the Russian regular troops had also entered it. At that time, when a beautiful parade was held at Kiev's Kreshatik Street, we were entering the Ilovaisk depot. There were five days of defence. And later, there was a corridor there. General Ruslan Homchak made the only one appropriate decision for a warrior. His order was, fight, go ahead. And we went, ahead. The military convoy was defeated. We were also blown up. Me and nine wounded were in the vehicle. Then, when the battle ended, the Russians started inspecting the territory and they killed those with severe wounds. And then, when everything was over, a Russian officer went there, along with paratroopers. I decided that I had to save everyone. I threw out a bulletproof vest and a helmet. Then I took out a vest I used to wear during the Maidan Revolution. It was with the Ukrainian Red Cross emblem. It was agreed that I would take away the wounded. I had to hurry, since the terrorists from Novorossiya had already come there and carried out sweep-up operations. Psevolod Stebluk saved at least 85 soldiers. On the day when Ukraine remembers its volunteer fighters, I believe pays tribute to soldiers killed in action near St. Michael's Cathedral in Kiev. I am now the deputy head of the Military Medical Academy. My work is connected with the training of military doctors and military psychologists. We deal with several areas. My wife and I launched a project to study shell shock. Since 2016, we have examined more than 600 soldiers. From time to time, we go to the war zone at least two times a year, and we carry out training for the staff in field hospitals, for doctors and for psychologists in the brigades. Psevolod still considers himself to be a volunteer. Tomorrow he will begin another working day at the military hospital, where he, together with the team, will help other war veterans return to civilian life.